to my channel. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I'm so excited for today's video. Renee and I are gonna be making charcuterie boards later on and I'm so excited to make one. I've seen them all over Pinterest, Instagram, and I'm so excited to just make one. I think it'll just be like a really fun activity to do. Let me know if you guys have made one before and what your go-tos are to add to your board. I did so much research on like what to put on it, so we're just gonna go shopping for that in a bit and then get the board together but before we jump right in this video is the partnership with the bright sellers and i'm so excited for this collaboration right now because you guys know i love trying new wine so bright seller is actually a monthly wine subscription service that uses a seven question quiz to kind of just match you to wines based on your palate and your taste and full disclosure i've already opened this box and tried one wine and it was pretty spot on perfect and before we jump right in, Bright Sellers is having an amazing offer right now. So from using my link that can be found in my description box, you'll be able to get 50% off your first six bottle box, which I highly recommend that you use. It's such a great offer and I really think you guys will love this. So this box came directly to my door. I didn't have to go to a liquor store or anything like that, which is just so great for me because it kind of just gets rid of that stress of trying to find the perfect wine and not knowing what to do you know so this is the inside of the box just like a perfectly packaged box comes with a little envelope here let's see what this is just some additional coupons and stuff and on the side here we have some cards so each wine comes with a card here to kind of just educate you on where the wine originates from the notes what it pairs well with so i can just read up on the ingredients in each wine and see what the perfect pairing will be so this is what the inside of the package looks like neatly packaged i love how it's arranged and there's also another section underneath one is missing because i had one last night to pair with dinner but i'm going to show you guys everything so let's do a quick unboxing and see what we got so the first one we have here is tag and title and this is a bright and zesty cool climate austrian wine lean and angular in texture with the crisp notes of citrus green apple and white peach spicy white pepper add dimension so it has lime white peach green apple and white pepper and it says that this would pair well with like a goddess salad lemon and herb baked chicken hot days by the pool so it gives you like a really good description for each i love that let's see what else we have in here the next one we have here is well fleet it's a white blend 2016 central coast and this would pair well with soft ripened cheeses chicken cordon bleu colorful sunset i'm actually going to put this to the side because this might be the perfect pairing for my charcuterie board later so i'm going to put this to the side here the next one i have here is a tolman 2019 cabernet savion yeah. the next one we have here is calypto and this has black cherry boysenberry clove and smoke the next one we have is hers and heim and this has cherry pomegranate baking spices earth and this would pair well with split pea soup pork warming up after walking your dog i love these little descriptions such a cool thing and this is the one that i tried yesterday i loved it it's a merlot and this one has plum raspberry black cherry and chocolate and this would pair well with like broccoli cheddar soup roast turkey and potatoes weekend baking projects and it's a full bodied red and it's just like the cutest little cover art here as you can see also you guys after trying your wine you can go to the site and rate your wines that you received on a scale from one to five just so the team can better understand your palate so definitely rate the wines if your first round wasn't like that spot on but judging from this merlot that they sent because red is usually the one that i'm like ugh about but judging from this merlot i'm just so excited to try the other ones that i have it's like the perfect red like it's not sweet and it's also not like very dry my tongue's just doing backflip right now so it's like a lot of things happening i love it 
So definitely check out Bright Sellers, you guys. I think you guys might really enjoy this. And the holiday season is coming up. And I want you guys to be able to impress your guests with like the perfect wine pairings for like your dishes that you'll be cooking up. And definitely let me know if you tried out or if you get matched to any of the wines that I have or if you got a wine in your box that you think I would love to. Definitely let me know. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's go get this charcuterie board made. And thanks again to Bright Seller for partnering with me. I love this service, so cute. Made it to the trader. <laughs> Renee, put your mask on. <gasps> oh, I think I have. Renee's always forgetting her mask, you guys. You know what, I like to think positive. I like to forget that we're in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nine months in. All right, let's go shopping for the charcuterie. So, she, do you want these ones? Or should we get these? It comes with cheese already. Yeah. I feel like we should just cheat get a little the, bit. Yeah, get the things that will be an easy go. Like yeah. This. We just need the cheeses now. Oh, down there. We're gonna need some jam. Jam? We need something sweet. And a bread. We need like a oh yeah, crackers and stuff. Okay. This is the part that I'm scared about. Yeah. I feel like we should get um, a really like fancy cheese. I know like these are the ones that they be melting up and it gets all... So do but we I don't like soft cheese. Should we like small... Okay, don't get it then, Renee. No, I mean, I want to be fancy. I want to expand my... But the... I don't know. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> soft. Oh, Gouda? Gouda's good. All right, let's get Gouda. I know you, you like that for your... Um... Or a double cream Gouda. I never had it either. Should we get some goat cheese? <laughs> I'm Together. definitely fake fancy. I get, ew! <laughs> oh my god. Is this blue cheese? I don't know. Oh it's god. called a Roquefort. Rich in. Oh my god, is she? No. I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe a palm Oh. <laughs> We're so basic. Then we need some grapes. We need some jam. Jam. And crackers. And Yo, why do we waste all this food? Do we need honey? I see people put honey on anything, but I'm not going to use that. I feel like I'm not going to use it either, but we do need jam though. Where is it? I feel like the jams would be over here. Oh, here, here, here. Ooh, I love this jam. Which one? Can we get this one? Yeah. Raspberry? Yeah. Or strawberry. Oh. But you've had the raspberry? It has like little crunchies in it. Oh, did you want fig? I don't know about that. I feel like you didn't always try to take it. Oh. <laughs> We have the wine here from Bright Cellar that I unboxed earlier. Um, the Well Fleet and the Calypto. We're gonna try that in, in a minute. But um, yeah, charcuterie board got that from Trader Joe's. <laughs> First we have some green grapes. We don't want the green because we want to add some color. Then we have chocolate. Octavia said she wanted dark chocolate and I rolled my eyes, but she also did get a crispy rice with milk chocolate for me. Yeah, so we got happy. some milk chocolate for Renee. She doesn't eat dark chocolate. We got some jam. We got some cracker assortment. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if you oh guys god. and then I don't know if you guys heard us in the store earlier with these darn cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> we are so fake bougie. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Okay, what is what is this? So this is double cream brie, soft ripened cheese. It sure is soft with a powder <laughs> layer. I've never had cheese like this, guys. Call me ignorant, but we'll find out. It oh looks my God. powdery. Oh my God. Then we got some Gouda. We played it safe with some Gouda. And then we got some cheddar cheese. With parm in it. With parm. It's a sharp cheddar with some parm. Oh, okay. It's then we got some little pre-made kits here with provolone and salami. We did a little cheating. There's no pepperoni. This is salami. I thought there was salami in that. That's why I put them back. Is there a difference? What, what's in that one? Oh, there's no meat in that one? Oh, there's pepperonis in this. All right. 
Cause those gonna be sad. I don't know, Renee. This is pepper coated salami, mild salami nuggets. Oh my God, it's all salami. All right guys, so we have these two <laughs> salami and provolone cheese packets here. And then we have this little anti antipasto assortment. So we got all of these assortment. There's no we got all of these from Trader Joe's. And then this one here, I did see someone take a picture of this on their story. So I told her that we have to have it so we can literally Cheat away to a charcuterie board. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna make this together. Then we're gonna come back, try the wine, and have good this up. So yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So this is the well fleet. <laughs> All right, so this is a Central Coast 2016 white blend. All right, let's see. I'm very Which excited. one is for the white? These ones. Here you go. I'm excited. I want to see your thoughts on this. So, ding. It's kind of creamy and buttery. Wow, it's like thickish. Oh, hmm. It's actually a little bit thickish. It tastes like citrus. Yeah, where is going to Alba? I feel like I can really pick up a nose. Oh my god, now. <laughs> So this is a full body white. This blend is full in flavor as well as with notes of bright lemon, crisp apple, and array of tropical fruits. Lifted acidity to keep the wine feeling balanced. So this is, pairs well with soft ripened cheeses, chicken cordon bleu, and colorful sunsets. So, um, hmm. I like this one a lot. I would keep this kind of white on hand. It's not very sweet. Even though it has a lot of fruits in it, it's not too sweet. It's not it's sweet at all. Body. It's not very sweet. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Oh, all right guys, time for the reveal. <laughs> I, I must say. I'm proud of us. No, I am proud. <laughs> this was our first time and um, we did a pretty good job. Oh my God, be careful. I, I'll, I'll try to be careful. But um, I think we did a pretty good job for our first board. It was such a fun thing to do though. I feel like this is a good act activity. Very, very neat. And um It looks yeah. like Pinterest wall. No, it does. I love it. No, and like now I just feel like it's something that like she was saying, it ups like the ante, you know, now instead of little potato chips when your friends come by. Yeah, help yourself. Grab, <laughs> grab, yeah. Cleanse your palate before dinner. That's grown. That's like grown. <laughs> it's like a grown thing. I feel like this is such such like a grown and sexy thing. I love it. Adulting. Adulting. This is a part of of adulting. So when I come here, I expect a charcuterie waiting for me. I don't want no chips. Well, you know where the cheese is. <laughs> I'm a guest. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so we just have some green grapes. We have some vegetable crackers, some olives, some provolone, 
So a lot of salami. A lot. Yeah. I've and never even had salami prior to I this day. I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, some cheeses, some dark chocolates, kind of like ignite the taste buds. But yeah, that's okay. pretty much it. Did you have fun? I did. And thanks to Marcellus again for the wine. Yes. I love this okay. one. Very citrus. Yes, it's quite nice. So we're actually going to be doing a live on Instagram. You might be able to catch it and like just snack on the board and just kind of like chat with some girls. So yeah. yeah. Girl talk. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Renee for joining me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.